Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and today we're continuing on in our quest for Castile achievements here in Europa Universalis 4. We have indeed passed beyond the realm of the Iberian Wedding. I was surprised the wiki had conflicting information, but at least one of the information it provided was correct. Basically, it had two accounts of what the event was for the Iberian Wedding. One said it was from 1450 to 1550, and the other one said it was from 1450 to 1500. It turns out the code, if you check the files, actually says 1450 to 1500, so we have passed the possibility of getting that event. Really disappointing, I know. I, I feel the pain, but it's okay. And uh, now we're going to get our diplomats back so we can declare some wars and move on. I do not want to peace out the Cherokee until we've declared wars with the Iroquois, Aztec, and the Inca at the same time. So let's get our dudes uh, moving. Let's go. Let's go, bro. And if we're going to have all this land, we might as well colonize uh, Kana Kanauha so that we can walk back and forth without hitting the natives every freaking time. Okay, you want peace? That ain't gonna happen. Uh, hello, Iroquois. Are you ready? Are you ready? You ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Here I come, bro. Here I come, bro. Bro. Oh yeah, I'm going in there. Going balls deep. And while we're doing that, we also need to go for the Aztecs. So give me a diplomat, please. I love how it says, Oh no! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. oh, the Pope declared war on Ferrara. Wow. What a weird turn of events. Naples takes Rome. Naples gives Rome back. Nobody seems to care. It's like... What? Anyway, let me get a derpy derp. And uh, you guys can move on. There's only 500 guys here. Yeah. So, yeah, let's siege this up, please. And we're back from the Ottomans. Okay. War with the Aztecs. Something gonna happen. Oh, poor Aztecs. You probably thought I was gonna be your friend. I'm your friend. I'm not your friend, Aztecs. Hope you realize that now. You've been duped. By the biggest duper. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take it slow with these guys, because I know they can have larger stacks. So we're just gonna siege a province and wait. And of course the Iroquois are moving around. There we go. Let's see if we can't catch them while they're busy and move our dudes to um, somewhere else. Uh, they have a lot of boats. Hmm. I love how fast the sieges go. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Alright, kill the army. Yep, they squished. Good. They will regroup, but whatever. Um, hey, Portugal's going to fight him for us. Cool. Good job, Portugal. I approve of your efforts. Really, I do. Uh, let's drop off. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Show the army. Let's drop off. Let's see. One and one. Move on. We won't need much to invade them. But this one I'm going to take super slow, because the Aztecs could be strong. Maybe? Have we arrived down in... Uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> Cloud save lag. That's okay. I have delicious coffee. Delicious coffee. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Back to my emails. Edit your recent broadcast. Shen Plays playing Crusader Kings 2. Shen Plays playing Sid Meier's Civilization 5 Brave New World. Shen Plays playing Europe Room's House 4. No, I don't need to edit those. Thanks, Twitch. Ooh, comments. Oh, it's back. Okay, cool. Uh, oh, we can do some tech. I think I want to wait, though. Is there any real reason to do these? We can't really afford any of these anyway. I'm not, not going to bother. Uh, I don't want your peace deal. Sorry, douche. Sorry, douche. Uh, we do not have call for peace yet, which is good. Where's my boats? They're still moving. Okay, well, they have to go all the way around. Why don't we dock up in Buenos Aires temporarily? 
Uh, we'll pick up some more dudes. And um, we'll stop our boats from taking attrition. So hurry up. Hello, Iroquois. Let me drop off another cannon and soldier, if you do not mind. And move on. Okay, we're back. Let me go ahead and declare war. And that means we can peace out the Cherokee. But I don't want to peace them out until we're pretty much ready with everyone. Because I want to be able to release vassals, and you cannot release vassals while you're at war. It's a kind of a tricky situation that Portugal forced me into, you know? Not happy with you, Portugal, you douche. Okay, colony's done. We can move forward, and we should be able to move everyone forward. Uh, do we want to colonize this way, or do we want to colonize some of the more profitable lands? That's a good ass question. I think we should try to block Portugal in down here. So let's get Kana. Or no, I don't want to do that while we're at war. Shoot. Uh, oh, up here. You can do Naranga set, or maybe down here. I don't know. Eh, go there for now. Okay, group up. Get on the boat. And you won't take attrition now, so move over here. Excellent. Wow, you guys are done already. Wow. Uh, yeah, they won't be able to siege that. <laughs> They'll try, but they won't be able to do it. It takes us very little time to siege their stuff, but it takes them forever to siege our stuff. Oh, oh, look at that. There's Huron over here. I did not expect the Huron to be alive. That could be a problem, because as soon as we peace out, they're going to coalition against us. See? Never would have expected the Huron to still exist, but there they are. Wow. The Inca took care of all their rivals. The Aztecs took care of their two rivals. The Cherokee took care of their two rivals. But the Iroquois never finished the deal. God damn it, Iroquois. I hate you so much right now. You jerks. Okay, we do have free diplomats. Uh, we don't really need them right now, though. I don't want to peace out yet. And I can't see the Huron. If I could see the Huron, then I would totally declare war on them like right now. You know what? I could get a Conquistador. How much is this piece going to cost? How much does it cost to annex somebody? It only it costs zero diplomatic power, zero diplomatic power. Are you kidding me? Zero. 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 Well, well, then I can spend my points. I didn't expect to be able to spend my points. I, I was I was holding on to them. I didn't. I guess I don't need them. Um, why don't we take you back? We'll get you an explorer, exploder, uh, or conquistador, whatever. And we can move this general to somewhere else. Hmm, interesting. And the Aztecs still have not shown their hand. Let me split in half. And we'll see what they do. I know they have like 20 or 25 or 30 guys. Okay, so if I take you out. And I get an exploder. No, no, no. Now, with the Exploder, we can go over there. And that should reveal the Huron, I think. Should, being the key word. No guarantee. Uh, where's my boats? Still on the way? Wow. Yeah, taking attrition the whole way. Great. And you can have a general. Enjoy. We probably won't need one down here with the Inca. And we're maxed out at 2 out of 2 anyway, so I'm not going to worry about it. 
So let's see if we can get a war with the Huron going. That'd be great. Okay. Self-sustaining colony. Very nice. Let's move on to Powhatan. We're also almost done here in Rio de la Plata. Do I want Serranos? Probably, yeah. It's only two. We could connect up our lands, and we could try to connect these up, but that would take a lot of colonies. And the base tax is just not there, is it? Well, still, more ports, more boats. You know, it's all worth it in the in the long run, I guess. Mr. Derp Man. Give me a derp. Derp, 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 derp. Okay, we're good. Yeah, there's only a thousand natives there. You should be fine. Uh, four dudes, that should be plenty to take out that army. Ooh, rebels. Rebels. Still haven't arrived yet. Damn it. These boats are taking forever. Alright, there's the Huron. Oh, I guess we have to wait for the event. Give me the event. Where's my event, damn it? I want to declare war on the Huron. Still no call for peace. This is good. I hate call for peace. Oh, more reform. No, 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 this one. There you go. They've got three reforms now. Good for you, Austria. Good for you, ally. There we go. Conquest on the Huron. Yay! Take that, douche nozzle. Invade. There's a stack of 11. It's probably half their army. Let me check. Yeah, it's half their army. Good. I'm glad I checked. All right, hurry up. Let's dump our troops in Nazca. I don't want to land on their faces. Get that penalty. Hopefully we'll siege quickly enough, then we can dock up our boats to repair. That'd be nice. We can even go kill these pirates. Yay, pirate killing. I can't believe it costs zero diplomatic power to piece them out really weird. Alright, Papil has fallen. Move on. Move on. Oh, he ran away. Why would you do that? I want to kill you. Um... You're running that way. Uh, you can go to Niagara. Okay, they went squish. Uh, probably done. Why don't we take this army and... Let's see. I don't really need them anymore. Why don't you come back to Yunami? I can go pick them up on the boats and bring them somewhere else. And colony self -stain. good. Okay. Hmm, base four tax is hard to pass up. We'll do it. Now get off the boat. Okay, good. We're off the boat. Now hurry up with the damn siege. Okay, they squished. That means they have no more military. Good. Good. 
Oh look, they want peace. It's cute. No. Come on. Ooh, base three tax on the interior. Not bad. If I want to be really lazy, I could just go for um, like these two coastal provinces, or even just this one, and then this one, and that would block anyone from getting interior, and it would connect up my lands. It just wouldn't give me all the coastline. But the problem is one, two, three, four, five. It's six provinces to go through the coast, or just two provinces to go through the interior. So if you're lazy, the interior is real quick. All right, we got this done. So go dock up. And uh, let's move on. I could even give you a general. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Derp, derp, derp. No leader there. Let's meet up in... Oh no, Lenape's kind of a nice central spot. That will work. And you can have a general. Oh, he's a conquistador. Cool. Cardinal. How dare you. That's mine. And you can't have him. Okay, he's just kind of running away from me here. He doesn't want to engage. That's fine. Really, it is. Utrecht declared war on Burgundy. That's how you know shit's gone tits up with Burgundy. Well, it looks like they released Flanders. Damn it, they're too far away to vassalize. God damn it, or else they would. Negative 87 for distance. Wow. Distance is always a problem. And my stupid queen still hasn't died. She's 60. Uh, I can't get my marriages back until she dies. Lame. Lame. up in the Lenape. That's fine. Let's go beat up their army. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just siege stuff. Alright, that one's done. Looks like they're trying to do an end around on me. Look at this shit. He's like, I'm sneaky. Totally sneaky. You don't see me. Except I do. Fun. I mean, all this shit, it's siege is so fast. Should be able to get a lot of it done before they get that one back. And we squish that on it, good. Oh, 
to spread out a bit. Still no call for peace. Good. Because I don't like call for peace. It's one of the most horrible things ever. Oh, they got Nazca back pretty quick. I'm surprised. Oh, we get to fight their navy. Cool. Naval experience! Yay! It's actually really neat when you actually get to fight someone's navy. It's kind of a rare thing. Fifteen dudes run into Campeche. May thirtieth. Might as well go fight him. We'll just run away, but whatever. Oh, he didn't run away. He squished him. Take that, douche. We cord Mosquito Coast. Great. Or not the coast. We cord the land. Mosquitos Coast. Mosquitos. Huh. I'm surprised there's different spellings on Mosquito and Mosquito. Hmm. Interesting. No? Yes. Very interesting. Hello, Jow. Don't run. Well, go ahead and run. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hey, new cardinal from Castile. Aw, oh, shit, yeah. We'll take the nice young one, too. Beautiful. War exhaustion is like non existent. This is great. This is great. Ooh, mercantilism is right. Or, yeah, of course. So I have to send him back to Mars Indian Coast. Okay. Wow, a minor inconvenience. Oh no. My life, it is ruined. Or I could just wait here patiently and collect again. Damn it, Poland. Leave him alone. Shit's mine, dog. Okay. Navigator died. No, <gasps> there's a cheap. There's a cheap statesman. Oh my God! Yes, I'm so, look at this. A 34-year-old statesman. Oh my God, that's so good. He's gonna make the annexation so much faster. 
I love Statesman so much. Rebel. Oh, Portugal's taking care of my rebels. Thank you, Portugal. You're the best. Who would have thunk it? Portugal's taking care of my rebels for me. They're also colonizing Texas like douchebags, but whatever. I won't judge you, Portugal. And we destroyed their army. Yay! Fuck you, army. We have discovered no gay. And you are trying to steal my cardinal. That's not very nice, Lorraine. I think someone would have taught Lorraine some fucking manners, but no. Looks like the Aztecs are falling pretty quickly. You can move on as well. Let's go fight their navy again for some extra naval... Whatever they're called. What are those things called? Tradition. Yeah, we have like we have great army tradition, but our naval tradition it sucks balls. So the more naval battles we get into, the more naval tradition we will get. done here. In fact, I think that's pretty much it. We'll move on and see if there's anything else, but I think that's it. We're, we're almost done. We just have to finish up the Inca. Uh, lose army tradition or lose prestige? We'll lose the prestige because we'll go to we'll go back to maximum prestige at the end of this war. You know what? This is a good opportunity for us to get the achievement for what is it called? So I can find it real quick. Do, do, do. Library. I know you guys can't see this in the video, but I'm looking up achievements. There we go. Europa. There's an achievement for having 100 prestige, 100 legitimacy, and 3 stability. I think it's called traditional player? Or is that army tradition thing? I'm not sure. It's probably the army tradition one. Grand Coalition, double the love. Little patience. No, no, no. 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 Boom, 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 boom. There it is. Respected. Have 100 prestige, 100 legitimacy, and 3 stability. So we can do that after this war. We should have enough admin power to get 2 stability bumps, and we should have full prestige and legitimacy. So that'll be nice. We'll actually get another achievement. It's been a while since we've had one. Yep, force their navy out again. Another battle. Poland. Poland really wants some cardinals. And look at France trying to sneak in a couple as well. Look at this. France wants, France wants the Curia. Oh, France. Those sneaky Frenchmen. That doesn't matter. They're not going to get it. I move for a vote of no confidence in France. Any good things out here? Colonize Maracaibo. You know, I would like to at some point. Not the best base tax, but it's not bad. Better than Caracas. What else we got? Uh, Italian ambition. Really? Own anything in the Italian region. Really? It'd be cool if you got something other than 10 prestige. Hmm. I'm half tempted to do that. Go get Croatia or something. The Merchant Republic of Croatia. What? <laughs> Must have been rebels or something that spawned that shit. Um, I really don't want to do Italian ambition. 
I hate to say it, because I kind of like I like the idea of going to Italy, but I wanted to do it through Aragon, and Aragon screwed it up. So it's not my problem anymore. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. That's pretty much it. Oh, there's one more province. All right. And we still have no call for peace. This is great. Probably because there's no freaking war exhaustion. Excellent. Oh look, rebels. No. Rebels. Go kill them, and then go back. You're dead. Alright, so that's it for the Aztec. The only thing we're missing is the Inca. We're almost done. Alone, Lorraine. He's mine. I want him. What are the three more provinces? I think. And right, we're almost done. Come on. Sorry, I'm not talking much. I'm just <laughs> trying to get to the end of this war. Wars. To me, it's just one war. England wants that alliance, wants that marriage, but I can't do it, England. I just can't. Or else I'll have someone from your dynasty, and I don't want that. All right, here goes nothing. Done. Alright, first one, Cherokee. And next, he says, okay. Next one, Iroquois. Next one, we have to wait half a year. <laughs> We have to wait half a year for our dudes to come home. But we can start doing some conversions, because they're super quick. Six months. Why not? Ooh, Aragon has a problem with their throne. Ooh. What's up, Aragon? Talk to me. Succession war between Castile and Naples. I'm pretty sure I would win that. I'm just guessing here, but I'm pretty sure I would win that. So that's nice. He's 51. I would love a succession war between Castile and Naples over the throne of Aragon. That'd be great. Alright, could I please get some diplomats back? I know it takes you a while, but whatever. Keep an eye on all the rebels.
Hmm. No, I'm not going to take any admin ideas because we're going to go plus three stability. Yeah. So. Oh, I guess I can do it during war, huh? Oh, I can get that achievement right now. There we go. Did it work? We're at plus three stability. End of the month, maybe? There we go. Achievement unlocked. Prospected. Yay! And you guys... It's too bad you guys can't see it, but the little steam pop-up. Achievement unlocked. Yay! <laughs> There's a lot of things we can do as Castile pretty easily, like colonizing stuff. There's a lot of neat achievements that are made specifically for Castile. It sort of feels like they're made specifically for Castile. God, these conversions are so quick. A revolt? No way. Get out of here, Joe. Portugal, I would love to marry you, but you're not a Trostamara, are you? See? You're not a Trostamara. I just can't. Sorry. It's good you don't take a relationship when you say no to a marriage, because I have to say no to a marriage a lot. Okay, Diplomat is home. Let's peace out uh, the Aztecs. Castile. That's beautiful. Ooh, another revolt in tombs. Testy, are we? Inca, enjoy your annexation. Goodbye, sir. So the really nice thing about all of this is annexing Native Americans doesn't cost you any overextension. Nothing. Let me tell you what we're going to do. We're going to release... Oh, first we're going to convert a lot of provinces because it's easy. And then we're going to release, like, the Shawnee or whatever. And they will core everything for us, and then we'll just annex them. And then we'll release the Aztecs, and they will core everything, and then we'll annex them. But we're going to convert most of the lands before we really, before we release them to make it easier on everybody. It'd be cool if the King Aragon would just keel over. Succession war. I've never been in a, in a succession war. Ever. That would be interesting. Okay, so I stopped investing in one of the cardinals, and he died. Perfect. So someone else was throwing points away at him. And we got a freebie with 90 points. Very nice. And he's the youngest one. Cool. I love freebies. We converted something. Convert more. So fast. Gain ducats or gain tax? I'll take the tax. I like tax. Five days, and that's it. Okay, here we go. Goodbye, sir. Thank you for joining the Empire. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. All those wars are finally done. Portugal, you, you made me do that prematurely, but you know what? It seems to have worked out just fine. Put you on Hunt Rebels up there. Put you guys on Hunt Rebels up there, and you can go on Hunt Rebels down here. 
But we do need to end the episode for now. Thank you guys for joining me. I have been Chen. You have been you. This has been a very long episode, but we got a lot done. It's great. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.